ever. Finally got the van packed, slash I chucked everything on the bed because I'm running very late, because Dave's was late, so it's his fault. Really, blame him. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> so just planning what we're having for dinner for over the weekend. Ideas? Working at the car wash. Yeah, that's not food, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Our first stop was to give the van a much needed clean before stocking up on food for the weekend. Got the essentials. We drove up through the Cotswolds and enjoyed a glorious sunset before arriving and spending the evening catching up with our van life friends and then crashing out for the evening. After Jay dragged me out of bed, we went out to explore the vans that had already arrived for the weekend. We caught up with friends and checked out their long-awaited van builds and made the most of the quiet and space before everyone arrived tomorrow. Next time, it's Jade's turn to get her skates on. And once again, I had to drag Dave and Bobby out of bed. Getting ready for the day? Big day? I'm sure it's the same for every van and camper here, but we had to have a quick morning spring clean before opening up our van for display. Between 9am and 2pm, we had an endless flow of people visiting and checking out the van. It was amazing to meet so many people who enjoy the same lifestyle as us and talk about the adaptions and changes we made to the van. After lunch, we decided to lock up the van and venture out to see the show. In the June event, we made the mistake of not doing this and we never got to have a look around. So this time, we made it a priority. There were businesses selling everything camper or overland related, from roof tents to barbecues, van parts, cutlery, decor, even food and e-bikes. There was even an area for the kids, or adults, with bouncy castles, absorbing games and trampolines. And don't even get me started on the amount of doggos at the event. Here are some of our absolute faves. But 
But of course, the main thing was the incredible array of vehicles on display. From motorhomes to school buses, unimogs, Volkswagen camper vans, bus conversions, and the most epic overlanders you've ever seen. I can tell you, Dave was tempted for a moment, although he wouldn't admit it. And of course, the amazing van conversions. Now, as a wheelchair user at the show, access was okay, but not great. Large areas of the show were grass, which were thick and long, which meant unless you have a wheelchair attachment, it wasn't easy going. There were a few gravel paths around places, but they were far and few. Also, the allocated wheelchair area was graveled, which wasn't the greatest. And then the toilets and showers. There was only one disabled toilet and after one morning they were absolutely grim. I think you can tell by my face. Very glad we had our own toilet and shower in the van <laughs> after this. Nice. Then it was back to the van for the remainder of the afternoon. So we've just polished off our dinner. Dave was starving, wasting away. So I had two fish and chips. So he had two fish and chips. No, obviously he just had the two. Yeah, of course he did eat the two. He ate basically all of mine as well. It is raining outside. So yeah, got very, very, very wet. Queuing up to get fish and chips. We're sending Bobby out to get donuts. <laughs> what was that? We're sending Bobby out to get donuts. <laughs> Bobs, well, come on. We're getting donuts. Get the donuts. Go get the donuts. You gonna get the donuts, Bobs? No, donuts. no, didn't think so. Useless animal. Dave, donuts. Then we headed out for the evening to watch the live music and dance the night away with our friends. Unfortunately, we didn't get any donuts. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining outside really heavily on our last day at the Adventure Overland Show. But hopefully it will um, ease off by lunchtime so people can still come and see the van. But um, otherwise we're just hiding in the van this morning. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's cosy. But yeah, get an extra bit of sleep in this morning. It was a very tiring day yesterday. But it was great to see everybody and meet lots of new faces and see some amazing vehicles. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, just hope that today is a wash out. Oh, who knows? The sun finally came out and I decided to have another wander around all the amazing vans and also visit vans of people that we had met over the weekend. Although many people had already left, this area was packed yesterday.
just found our new van, Dave, for sale. I spent the whole day talking to people about vans and campers and all kinds of travel plans. It really made us excited to get out and about. And then that was that. Uh, we actually decided to head home early. So we left the event Sunday evening um, after two or three days on our feet and talking to hundreds of people and showing everyone around the van, you know, we were both really exhausted so we just decided to head off early and get some well deserved rest. But yeah, it was an amazing weekend, um, getting to meet people from all over the world who have travelled all over the world and had these incredible stories to tell. Um, it gave us lots of ideas for all our future travel plans and it was very inspiring, so yeah. It did, yeah. Um, I think the kind of the biggest takeaway from from the event was just how amazing the overland van life community are. Uh, everyone's so welcoming and willing to lend a hand if you need some help. Uh, back in the June event we were having some problems with our electrics and a couple of guys came over, helped us out and kind of got us back on our way again. Yeah, um, and then we also met the motorcraft development guys who custom built our uh, wheelchair lift. Um, so just want to say a massive thank you to them because um, yeah without them you know I don't know where we'd be right now. <laughs> oh we wouldn't be travelling for sure we'd probably still be parked up on my parents driveway uh, so it's given us a lot of freedom back yeah, so yeah we're eternally massively. grateful to them. Um, as for accessibility at the event unfortunately there's not really much that can be done to improve events like this they're normally on big open fields you know uneven ground a little bit hard to get around uh, please don't be put off by that it's we managed to get around it sounds a lot worse than it actually is <laughs> it is yeah it's just i recommend if you've got a a wheelchair attachment like a, a tri ride or a smart drive or a free wheel uh, just to give you that little bit extra hand to kind of get over the ground yeah or bring somebody along with you that's willing to give you a push when you need it yeah that always helps <laughs> um and then secondly if you are in a wheelchair and you're thinking of coming and you don't want to be parked on the grass or the gravel uh, just give the guys a, a call who organised the event um, so helpful and more than happy to kind of try and get you on the tarmac next to the grandstand it just makes a, I think it makes a massive difference just having that little bit of freedom to, to push around yeah I think well in terms of your enjoyment of the events yeah, yeah, from definitely. the June to September event uh, yeah. this time around you definitely um, felt a bit more independent yeah and... definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, I hope obviously that this video has given everybody an insight into what the event is like from both a uh, able-bodied and a wheelchair user's point of view. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to next year already. We've already planned that we're getting a barbecue and fire pit because it was a bit chilly um, in the night, so we won't lie. Um, so everyone can come around our van next year. Um, but we also just wanted to say a huge thank you again for everybody who watched our YouTube video that we put out a few weeks ago. You know, we're really grateful for everyone's kind words, the comments, likes, and those that did subscribe. You know, we really appreciate you. Um, but yeah, and lastly, please don't forget to click and subscribe on this video. And also, please give it a big thumbs up. You know, we really, really are grateful for your support. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so I think that's it for now. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.